welcome back to another video so today i'm gonna do a set of nails using this um builder gel i recently got off aliexpress i wasn't too keen on the color in the pot but once i got it on the nails it was all right so i've already put some fake nails and i've buffed the shiny surface off in my flexi hand this is the tips i'm using they're really nice tips these they're coffin shaped i didn't show you the tip there but the tip's quite rounded. I'll show you the tips in a minute. Um, so I'm just going to get these glued on to all of these fingers. Yeah, they're quite rounded on the end, these tips. Um, I haven't got any tips like this. Um, yeah, can you see on the end of that tip? They're quite rounded. You'll see them better once they're all glued on. This, hard, this builder gel I'm using today as well. It's actually got a really hard consistency to it, but because it was such a hot day, one of the hottest days of the year so far, actually, and I decided to use Builder Gel. Yeah, it's normally a hard consistency. You can tip the pot upside down and it doesn't move. But in this video, it was like gel polish consistency. That's how thin it was. I really, really struggled with this set. Um, but I got there in the end. I got quite a nice set out of it. But, yeah, it was quite difficult. So, all them tips are glued on now. Can you see the ends of them? They're quite rounded, aren't they? I like them. So, I'm just going to... That pointer finger was a tiny bit big, so I've just shaved... Shaved? <laughs> I'm just filing a little bit off the edges. And I'm just going to blend where I've glued them tips on to the nail. I'm just going to blend it in a bit. And at the same time, I'm going to file off the shiny surface of them nail tips as well. Right, so I'm going straight in with the gel. Normally, on your natural nails, you would have to dehydrate them and use a primer, base coat. But as it's only on tips, I'm just going straight in with the gel. Um, on this finger and the pinky, I wanted an extended nail bed. So I'm just starting by doing a really, really thin coat. Just to kind of get the shape of how I want my nail bed to be. I had to work so fast, so fast fast it was so runny and what I normally do after this thin layer is I'll go in with two thickish layers but because it was so runny I just had to stick to thin layers with this set so you'll see I think I only show you another couple of layers but I think I actually did four layers in total it is fine you can do thin layers and build it up I just normally prefer to do a couple of thick layers but yeah it was just too runny so once i'm happy with where i've got that nail bed and the shape of it i'm going to stick that in the lamp for 60 seconds so now that's cured all i'm going to do is a couple more thin layers and i think the last layer or two i did off camera because i was just repeating these thin layers Right, so that's my pinky and middle nail done. So the other two nails are just going to be um, full builder gel nails. So I'm starting out by doing a really, really thin slip layer and rubbing it all into them um, scratches that I've made with the file. And then, again, I'm just going to stick to thin layers. So yeah, I think I'll show you a couple and then I'll do the last one off camera. Can you see how runny that is? It was like gel polish, it was so runny. <laughs> but we got there, we did.
Right, so that's them all done. So I'm just wiping the tacky layer off with some alcohol because we need to get these filed now. I'm just going to show you how I file um, these nail beds. They're quite neat, so they didn't really need much filing, but I always start my filing by going over the top. I get the top as flat as I can, and then I'll just go up the sides and get them sides nice and... You want them, um, like, straight, vertical, them side walls, because I'm going to be painting up against them in a minute. So, yeah, I always do the top first, then the sides. So that's why you never have to really worry about getting your nail beds too neat because you, you can neaten it up with your files afterwards. Okay, now that's all my filing done, so we're going to add some colour and sparkle to these now. So I'm using this Umic Gel Polish. I think this is from the Vivacity Summer Collection. It's a really, really nice purple. And I'm going to be putting some of these flakies, like opal flakes, I think they're called. That's going to be going into the tacky layer of this gel polish. So what I'm doing on these fingers with the nail beds, I'm painting right up the side walls, sides of that extended nail bed just using a detailer brush getting it right up into the corners and you don't need to worry about going over the top of it like I have because that's all going to be getting filed down anyway so I'm going to paint all these nails cure in the lamp and then those flakies are going to get just kind of rubbed in to the tacky layer of that gel polish Wait and see these flakies, they're so nice. I'm just using, um, I think it's a pigment brush, and I'm just tapping it and rubbing it into the tacky layer of the gel polish. These opal flakes are beautiful. It's what my friend Anne-Marie sent me. Um, she sent me four or five colours, I think. This is the first time I've used them, and they're beautiful. They really are. Right, now what I'm doing is I'm using this clear IBD gel and I'm going to get all of these encapsulated now. Just starting with the free edge, encapsulating all that purple. I don't really need to put a thick layer on the nail bed area because that's already kind of done. So just a thin layer on that nail bed area because that's going to get filed down anyway. So once these are encapsulated, they're all going to get put in the lamp for 60 seconds.
Right guys, that's them all encapsulated. So I'm just going to show you filing one of the nail beds because the others just needed a little buff really. Um, yeah, so just like I did with the first lot of filing, you're just filing down. Yeah, you're just filing it down. <laughs> what I do when I'm filing, again, I go over the tops and then you'll see me going up the sides. And when I do the sides, I kind of keep going up and over and up and over so that you're not got bulk hanging over the edges you kind of want the edges to be crisp and neat i find it so difficult to explain what i'm doing i just hope you can father out what i'm doing by just watching <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so glad i never become a teacher i mean i would have made a crap teacher <laughs> i can't even explain something that i've done but yeah i'm just filing it down getting it the best shape I can. I'm not brilliant at shaping, but getting there, getting better. <laughs> Right guys, that's them all filed. Can you see now the shape of them tips? I'm not sure how I feel about them actually. They're quite rounded on the end. I don't know if I'd prefer them filed straight off like a coffin or like they are. I'm not sure, let me know guys which you prefer. Right, I'm just sticking some, I'm just putting some rhinestone gel on this nail. And I'm going to put some on the pointer finger as well, some gems and get them cured in the lamp and then we'll get them top coated and finished. Okay, there we go. They're all finished. Look at them flakies. Aren't they gorgeous? They are beautiful. Not sure about the shape of these nails. Let me know, guys. So I know next time I use these tips whether to file the ends off or not. Please let me know. I'm not sure how I feel about them. But I absolutely love the nails. I absolutely love this set. I really do. I wish I would have done them on my own nails. I absolutely love them. I do. 
Anyway, guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss any of my videos. And hopefully, I'll see you all in my next one. Take care. Bye.